Hi. The jail Tommy Roberts' immediate street support may be diminished as only, only, 5,000 supporters turned out last Saturday. So far, at least in central London, they've had the run of the streets. But as the year progresses, where can they go and extend beyond the limited political space they occupy? I think this revolves ultimately around the gathering Brexit crisis. Theresa May's pathetic attempt to fashion a Brexit deal has resulted in the exit of her chief negotiator, David Davis, and our old chum, the obnoxious Boris Johnson. Major convulsions are set to erupt in Parliament over her obviously crumbling blueprint, which will be chucked out by, disdainfully by the EU anyway. Turbulent times lay ahead with the feeling among Brexiters and the public in general that an establishment betrayal is in the offing and that the UK will remain in the EU in all but name. When May falls, doesn't really matter, but there will be a massive reconfiguration on the right. By the end of March next year, we are supposed to be out. Full stop. Nigel Farage is threatening to re-enter politics if the Remainers pull off a coup. Once this inevitably spills out onto the streets, we could see a mobilisation of Tommy supporters by those lurking in the political murk to push for a real hard and genuine Brexit. Most of the left are Brexiters, closet or otherwise, so don't expect much street opposition from them to these forthcoming mobilisations that, that can gain mass traction amongst a vast dissatisfied, alienating segment of the working class and beyond, whose grievances have been ignored, dismissed by all sections of the increasingly remote establishment. Maybe this populist right-wing revolt, unpleasant as it will be with nationalism, xenophobia and other nastiness running right, will shift the political logjam. The unprecedented social peace which we have here in the UK, could abruptly end, although not in a manner or for many of us anarchists and malcontents have previously speculated. Let the Conservative Labour establishment tear themselves to shreds over Brexit. Interesting times lay ahead, certainly. The future may be scary, but why be afraid? Out of their chaos emerges opportunity. The UK is slowly sinking. Soon it will be listing. Then what? Bye.